The type of research that I do uh, deals with social insects, and my focus is really working on termite behavior and termite biology. These social insects live in uh, large colonies composed of thousands or perhaps even millions of individuals all interacting with one another and nesting inside of usually decayed wood. And the decayed wood is loaded with potential pathogens for the termites. And so I'm trying to understand the adaptations that evolution has uh, selected for so that these guys can actually thrive in their microbially rich environments. My research has discovered new things that we didn't know before. We know that these social insects have multiple uh, ways to deal with disease. These uh, species, then we expose them to the pathogen. They change their behavior. If you put them together with an infected individual, they will groom each other quite a bit. Another way we know that termites engage in communication in the colony is by telling others, don't come close, because it's loaded with potential pathogens, they start shaking. But uh, seizure behavior is um, a very brisk movement, forwards and backwards, up and down, all at the same time. It is amazing what these organisms are doing. Evolution and natural selection in evolutionary time has fine-tuned these adaptations to actually allow these colonies to survive in these very microbially rich environments. It allows us to understand how organisms can cope with disease, uh, which at this point in time during COVID, uh, it's very important to understand how disease transmits itself. And then what we're trying to do is see whether the immune responses are actually what we call socially mediated whether the immune defenses can be shared with one another and therefore the entire colony can do better. It's exciting to study something that nobody ever thought about before and then coming up with experiments to try to explain why is this happening. And so in a small way, I think that I've contributed to social insect behavior studies by giving a little bit of a new perspective of what these social insects can do when they are encountering pathogens. My name is Becky Rosengaus and this is my narrative. <laughs>